is lit. lit. Just take a look at the drip. You boys don't get fired. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. In this video, we're going to look at the brand new Type 25 Geometry that I just unlocked right now. Let's take a look at this. Here we have the RPD, but I really, oh, here it is. This is beautiful. I love these Geometry skins. This is absolutely sexy. Look at that. Wow. The Type 25 Geometry looking absolutely stunning. So we're going to play a couple of games with this Type 25 over here and just see how it is from looks wise it looks absolutely beautiful but anyway guys my giveaway is ending tomorrow so if you have not entered yet and you still would like to enter you still can and what this giveaway is for is for 4,000 card points and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel turn on post notifications and then leave a comment of your in-game name or your email address so I can contact you if you do win and then also my sponsor is giving away a controller all you have to do to enter is subscribe to their channel and subscribe to mine their link is down in the description but anyway guys guys hop right into this video and look at the brand new type 25 geometry so here is the type 25 geometry and it actually looks massive that is one huge gun it almost looks like an lmg that's really really big but anyways here it is the type 25 geometry and it really really does look good I don't know about you guys, but these geometry skins are some of my favorite. Over here, we got the XPR 50, and again, it just looks absolutely stunning. I really, really like these geometry skins. They actually look super, super good. So the perk for uh, this Type 25 over here is going to be increased weapon firing range, and then obviously broadcasted with effects. So nothing major over there, but pretty cool. So anyways, upgrade this all the way up to max. We'll use my blue XP cards over here, and we should be level 12. There we go. So for our first game, I'm not going to put on any attachment. And for our second game, I'll put on a red dot, I'll put on an extended match, and I'll probably put on quick draw. So anyways, hop right into our first match. Okay, let's hop into a game with the brand new Type 25 Geometry. And wow, it looks very nice, I gotta say so. And I love the fact that at least one of the Geometry skins are going to be, or is, on a pretty good gun. The other two are on mediocre guns, the XPR 50 and also the HD 40. Two guns. Not many people actually use, so it's nice to see one of the skins on a good gun. That's pretty cool, and it looks beautiful. It kills nice as well, and the increased range perk really helps out a lot. I love that perk so much. One of my favorites. We just died over there, so I just cut that out real quick. We got another guy over here. Nice and easy kill. It should be a guy here to the right. We got him as well. A nice kill there again. Like I said, the gun skin looks amazing. Kind of weird, like the two things that look like corks on the side. Not the biggest fan of that but who cares it's like the smallest thing on the gun not the biggest issue doesn't look amazing but the skin still does look good we got a guy over here what gun is that even i've never seen that gun actually be used a lot in the game let me know if you use that gun what was that gun by the way anyway we picked up two guys over there swing around over here a little bit of lag but it is what it is we got another guy over here just a nice easy kill and then yeah so far the gun is performing pretty well and i almost don't see the need to put on a red dot on this gun like the whole iron sights actually look pretty good so i think if you're not gonna run like a red dot or a cog or anything like that you should still be doing pretty good because it actually does look good getting a couple kills over here with this little scorcher over here just died but who really cares it's just gonna be free for all just to show off the gun a little bit we died by a guy using the hd4 that's kind of embarrassing it's that is, that is kind of embarrassing not gonna lie we got a guy camping over here on nuketown are you serious are you kidding me I had to reload and he killed us who can Camps. Is he using? Oh no, he's using uh, the PDW. I almost thought he's gonna use the S36 for a second. He killed us again. Now uh, come on, man, get alive. Who camps on Nuketown and free for all? That's something people do on Kill House with the S36. Come on, bro. This is going to be a very, very close game. We got another guy over there. Speaking of, there should be a guy here. There isn't, but here he is over here. Another kill. And he's using a pretty cool skin. The Ruin skin is one of my favorites. I still don't have it. Kind of disappointing. Got a guy over there, and that's the game. Wow, that was really... How close was this? It was actually pretty close, I think. Yeah, 2018. Okay, that was a pretty close game. The gun feels good. It looks good. And I'm a pretty big fan of the whole skin like i said the two things that look like corks on the side are kind of weird but otherwise the skin does look pretty good but anyways let's hop into another game and let's go try out some attachments on the type 25 geometry 
Okay, now we're gonna try out the gun of the Red Dot FMJ Quick Draw and Extended Mags. I gotta say, I think I prefer the gun without a scope on, but it's our first kill. That's gonna be the second. Uh, here's our third, I believe. Yes, we got him. We can't try get. Oh, here's another guy over here. It's our fourth kill. It should be a guy straight ahead, and there he is. That's our fifth kill. Not bad start so far to this game. It looks like a pretty easy kill, and I gotta say, this gun is absolutely shredding right now. And like I said, I actually prefer without the red dot. Not a big difference in my opinion, but I think it's better without the red dot. That's in my opinion. Uh, the red dot's still pretty good on the gun, but definitely it's still performing like crazy. We've got a guy over here as well. Easy kill. I think we're gonna absolutely dominate in this game. Okay, I think I spoke too soon. Perhaps again, a guy over HC40 has killed me again, and I was struggling so much to try to get kills with the HD40 in the video the other day. And one thing I do want to say guys, while I am doing gameplay video right now, a lot of people are telling me that I suck at the game. I just want to say, I, I never actually said I'm good at the game. I don't think I'm good at multiplayer, I really don't. I think I'm like, ah, this is nasty, that was really nasty. I'm just proving my point right now. I am not that good at the game. I think I'm a lot better at Battle Royale, but I just enjoy the game. So what is the issue with that, guys? Uh, anyways, here we got the flamethrower yet again. I love this by the way. I love just shredding people with the flamethrower and then we die as soon as I talk about the flamethrower. What am I doing? Anyways, we got a guy over here. He's already dead. The guy over there, we just take him out real quick and there he is. Anyways, we're missing, but we got him. It's actually turning out to be a pretty close game. I know you guys can't see the score in the top left, but I can see it. And it's actually a pretty close game. We might actually end up losing this game if I can't pull off something amazing right now. So we got a guy over there. We still need a couple of kills. There's a guy running, I believe, on the right side. I threw here. And there he goes. We got him as well. And I think we need two more kills or one more kill to win. We need one kill to win. Uh, there's a guy coming up to me right now. Can we get him? Uh, no, we can't. Oh, no. Is that the game? Is that the game? That's the game, I think. Again, the HD40. That is the game. We came second by one point. Oh, no. But as you guys can see, not the biggest difference with, like, the red dot. Definitely, you need to have extended mags on it. It works a lot better. But, yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And let me know what you think of the Type 25 geometry. Like I said, I really like the skin. Now, I do have a couple of other things that I would like to talk about. And the first thing is about the Battle Pass. Now, I know we only have 50 tiers, and at the beginning, I was kind of hyped about that, but right now, I'm kind of thinking I'm not the biggest fan of that because now I'm already level 150. Now, my battle pass has been maxed. All I need to do is collect supply drops for a gun that is not that good, being the HD40 that has killed me so many times in the past two games. Not the best gun in the game. So now, my only grind is, is to get that. So is it really that much better? I kind of preferred the 100 tiers, just give me a longer time to grind out the game. In my opinion, that was a lot better, but it is what it is. So anyway, guys, if you did enjoy the video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Anyway, guys, squally out, we'll keep you guys day, and cheers, bye!